What's up guys? So today we're going to look at Redox. And Redox is a pretty new operating system. It looks pretty nice and it seems to be pretty easy to install. The last operating system I did was React OS and React OS was horrible. It was complete shit, it was unorganized, everything looked in disarray. I don't know if that's because the UI operating or the the GUI was like disgusting or I don't know what was up with it, but it just looked really horrible and cluttered and everything else. So this is Redox. Redox is nice. It's got a nice, well, pretty alpha looking character map. A simple calculator does basic math. There's an image viewer. Here's a text editor. Text editor is nice. It's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and mess with it real quick. All right, hello world, because everyone does that as their their first program. All right, so you can save it as whatever you want, but you have the, I'll show you actually the problem in just a moment. So here we go, uh, oh yeah, okay. Oh, hold on. Wow. I'm using caps lock and it's not, it's not working. It's not uh, picking up my, my, it's not picking up that button anyway. The operating system is. Okay. So here's what happens when you save it like that. So this is the file explorer. Pretty self-explanatory. There's no double click and there's no right click, which is, um, I don't know. It sucks. You can't get any info on it. Uh, most of the info is like right here uh, at the side where it says type and where it says size tells you how many files are in there so it says 111 entries get a bin I'm s well yeah files uh, and then there you go like that uh, there also needs to be a scroll bar at the side all right anyway let me, let's go back to home and user so you have HW both of them there's text at the bottom it says text plain plain text then you have application for whatever reason don't know why but it doesn't recognize it as rich text format and I'm not I'm like I said not sure why but whatever right and last but not least my favorite part the terminal see so I want to see if okay yeah, still not picking up the caps lock thing. That's crazy. Oh, it picks up shift though. That's neat, okay. All right then. So before I get to terminal, let's go to the browser. Browser is um, self-explanatory, very simple, extremely simple. Unfortunately, there's no search bar, so you can't really do anything with this. Uh, documentation. Uh, this will always be up the top right there. Let's see, we got, let's go to news. Let's go to screenshots real quick. I'll show you something. So, all right, with this, actually, we'll go back. Never mind, we'll go back. All right. So, when I load the picture up, right there, and I, I can't go, let's see if I, oh, I can't go. Sorry, I have to use the arrow keys. Anyway, so when I open the image in the browser, I have to exit out of the browser in order to go back, which is, uh, it's all right. It's, it's all right. It's not the best. But anyway, I can't go to GitHub or Twitter. Uh, it loads way too long. I've already messed with this a few times uh, for about a week I've been messing with this operating system 
let's go ahead and let's look at the terminal. My favorite part. Um, I'm going to need the file explorer open because I want to try some move files and stuff like that. So uh, I also need to know Okay, those are new. So we'll start with this. CD. Home. Fail to set current directory to home. No such file or directory. Now, I have a problem because I'm not exactly sure how these how these work um, it says home right there but there is no like I don't I don't know Let, let's let's try the same thing again let's add that no such file or directory. And I've had this problem a couple of times. I've tried it, didn't work. I even tried the ls. So we can try the ls command real quick. It works. Wow, except so text and text, okay. Uh, there are a few things. Let's see if I can get to the root. Okay, that is the root. Um, Wow, that's new. Don't know what that is at all. Confused. Okay. All right. Um, so the next thing I'm going to try is... All right. So let's go that... Okay, LS. And then we'll do that. All right. Wow. Package root. Okay, temp. Let's go to that ls and then root. I right, see there we go, no six file or directory. All right, same thing happens. See uh, without it. Okay. And so those are constantly problems that I have. I have no idea what to do with that at all. But we're going to try the remove command. And I'm going to try and get rid of the hw.txt. Actually, I don't need to get rid of that. We'll try the hw.rtf. All right. And you see it's removed. So those basic commands, pretty cool that they work. It, it's good that they work, actually. And next, we're going to try and install a couple of things. Um, I was going to try the move command, but since ls is not working, I'm not going to do that. So I'm probably doing it wrong, which is usually what happens. But anyway, oh my gosh, I forgot something. All right, yep. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. sudo package install curl. Pretty simple. Uh, I'll show you guys, uh, well, I'm not actually gonna show you guys a video, but I'll link you guys a video so that you can see what other things to install. I'm not going to install it right now, but I I mean, this is great. This is great, uh, two years, and this is what they've already got. It's 3.4 now. Let's go ahead and go to the, back to the website here. Okay. View releases. Oh, you know what? Hey, I think it's right. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Uh, yeah, 3.4. All of that crap right there. 3.3. Uh, this is 24 days ago. Let's see. We have uh, 3.2 September 9th. Uh, August 21st. I mean, this is July 13th. This is... Uh, this is pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty quick. Now, the only thing that's kind of weird is the, uh, it looks like they have three, 
three maintainers. Let's see if I can get back to. Wait, Alex, where's that? Holy crap. Wow, I'm not finding it. Okay, holy shit. Oh, uh, right here. There we go. Okay. Uh, when you go into documentation and you get a book, project maintainers, jackpot 51, straight, stratic, tiki, Skylerberg. Four people maintaining this project. And they've done all this in two years. Now that's pretty, pretty insane, pretty great. It seems to progress pretty quickly. And that's pretty awesome compared to the other operating system that I reviewed. You know, that <laughs> I, this is mind boggling to me. I, there can't actually be four maintainers, but you know that's uh, that's all it says here. So I I'm kind of confused, you know, at it. But anyway, so the next things we're gonna look at is okay. Now when it comes to this book, obviously not everything is here. Uh, Heartblade. Wow, I've <laughs> I haven't seen that, and okay, I haven't you know heard people mention that in a long time so anyway uh, they have they have all this stuff that they're currently writing about and so I guess it's just not it's not completely there so but it's nice to get like a look at everything so that you can kind of see what's going on so the other thing that I couldn't find was when you go to you let me find the shell. Holy crap. Okay. The shell. All you get is this. Alright. They call it Ion. I have no... Um, the shell used in Redox is Ion. I have no idea what Ion is. But literally someone compared it to Bash on Windows. You know? I, they, uh, they, even, they even took a... They even like wrote in Ion the same thing that they wanted uh, their program to do and they literally compared the syntax between ION and, and Bash and it was it was pretty cool it was pretty cool I, I liked it uh, there's a lot of stuff on reddit that you guys can read and I'll put the links in the descriptions uh, just some of the stuff that stood out to me first and then you'll have the reddit subreddit of redox OS but as of right now, we are going to look at a few things. Now, first thing is the website. And the website is pretty cool. We'll give that a B plus. And that's because, you know, Ubuntu, I'm sorry, you know, a Redox actually gets a, a C plus. Ubuntu gets the B plus, but Ubuntu right now is the standard for all the Linux websites when I review other operating systems. So, you know, <laughs> it's, it doesn't get a perfect score because it's not perfect right now. Ubuntu gets the B plus and Redox gets a C plus. What I like about the Redox website is you can actually see the documentation right up there. And I like that how they have it. There's documentation here and there's documentation on GitHub. They've got a lot of information on there. So go to GitHub and definitely go to Reddit because you'll find a lot more information on Reddit than GitHub. And a lot a lot of explaining things when you go to the documentation. So uh, we have to make sure that there is documentation and details about the OS on the website. Now there's not a lot of details, but they do have doc documentation um, and they do reference it. So there you go, there's that. Uh, we have to make sure that the operating system is visually sexy and easy to use. It seems to be very simple and easy to use. Everything is easy to look up. It's great. I like that. Uh, making sure that we can test themes and graphics and applications on the live OS. Now this is a live OS. When I installed React OS, the live OS, I could not do anything because it couldn't get on the internet. I was very aggravated at that operating system. 
I hate that operating system. It makes me angry. It, it pisses me off. Okay. So, anyway, this operating system is great because it is, it is live. I have no problem testing anything. It is an alpha, and so, I, like, yeah, I understand that I can't do too much on this, but at least I can test, you know, everything. Um, I can't install it right now on, like, actual hardware. So I, I think uh, there's been a few people that have had problems with this, especially on Reddit. I could be confused, but when I'm able to actually install it on hardware, then I will be I will be using it more often because this is like this is beautiful. This is this is art. That that's what this is. This is a beautiful piece of art right now. It's it's gorgeous. Um, I also need to try to install Homebrew and the Next Package Manager, and it's very hard for me to install Homebrew and the Next Package Manager. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to definitely save that for another time. I'll definitely get back to you guys and see if I'm able to do that. But I do want to try. I do want to try to install themes, and you can install applications using this. This is the best way to do it right now. They obviously don't have an actual GUI kind of looking package manager like Ubuntu, but you know, I don't really care. So, oh, I do have to say something before before I head out. So, I did install, or uh, I'm sorry, I did try to figure out what the package manager was before I knew what it was. Uh, it, it was thanks to a certain video that uh, I'll link in the description that I figured out what the uh, package manager was, which is packages, or how they, how they install pa packages, yeah. So anyway, I went to I went to Twitter, and I went to the Redox. I messaged, and I said, "Do you know what kind of packages and package manager Redox uses, or what kind of package manager it will have in the future?" And I didn't get an answer. And I think it's been about yeah, it's actually been a week um, now. So I've got to get this video out. So uh, it's been a week. And I've got to say, points off them, you know? It, it would have been nice to get a response. You know, I, I'm asking a question to do this video. I would like to have a little bit more information. You know, I'm ignorant when it comes to some of this stuff. I know how to install it. Like, this stuff is easy. But the terminology and stuff, like, I'm very ignorant on that. And so he could have at least tried to explain or at least gave me a reference to a website. The guy that, um, you know, the guy that's in charge of the, the, the Redox, uh, Redox page on Twitter. So anyway, that was not cool. You know, I'm just trying to get information. So... This whole thing, you know, it's got to be, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a C, all right? A C. And only because, you know, they, they only have a limited, they don't have very many people doing this. Uh, they've got a great, like, it seems to be a huge fan base when it comes to this. And it's, you know, I think it's because of the Rust, op uh, I'm sorry, the Rust programming language. Uh, not necessarily because of Redox. Um, this is very new and it's very beautiful. You know, sit here and, and watch this thing. I like. I love this operating system. It looks great. It's very plain. So, on their website, they seem to have other people running it. I'm I'm not exactly sure how. But, yeah, yeah, it looks like that and everything and I think that's that's you know that's pretty cool um, I'm not sure how they installed it I really don't I have to I have to figure that out but uh, anyway I'll I'll keep up with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy I'll you know be posting updates because I'm gonna leave this on and, and do what I can to like mess with it and and get all that I can out of it. It's pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoy. 
live long and prosper. May the force be with you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.